furthest reaches of the galaxy, where you can find those deadly Avengers known as the Backwater Bastards in space! Wow! Space! Space, space, space. <laughs> yeah. Sure we could. Um, yeah, so are you ready for some more yes. tabletop bureaucracy? Oh, yes. yes. It was so much fun. How are we going to do this? Do we get to know about Herodotus's beautiful adventure and duty free? Of course. Because Harry's back with us this week. Whoa. I Which... never left. I just went to hell to the big group. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'll, I'll do the little catch up. And then yes. we'll just go go back in time, literally hours, because you guys like had to queue oh, for that's very quite long a time. lot, twice, quite a lot. But um, Cleo and I have been accused for days. We'll work out what Herodotus got up to, and uh, maybe even bring the parties together, depending, kind of depending on what Herodotus got up to, I guess, because uh, there's a <laughs> there's a there's a myriad of things that could happen. Wherever Herodotus is, is where the party is. <laughs> <laughs> so sexy. So um, we always want to go straight into a catch up, eh? That, yes, that's it's novel, it, novel of us. Yeah, it's needed. Okay, so catch up, the backwater yes. bastards, Cleo, Herodotus, and Doctor Z. Mm. That's us. All arrived at um at New Terra. The landing was sort of you know fine, stable, easy, and they realised that they they brought in their armada. So D and Cleo uh, piloted down in the Grey Dragon, um, and of course Herodotus was piloting the, the truck filled with royal honey and. <laughs> and more importantly, carrying a very big case with a lot of credits in it. Remember yes. exactly how many credits that was again? Right, that one hundred thousand credits. Two okay. minute account, Johnny. Is it pretty easy to read? <laughs> so, um, probably for the best that Herodotus was carrying the suspiciously large amount of cash in a suitcase or in a briefcase, um, because he, being a, a national of the Terran Empire. And a military man that was able to literally just sort of waltz on through. There's a there's a queue on the far left. It's just for nationals only. Then there's a queue yeah, yeah. for sort of um, expats and uh, and the colonies, and so forth. And then the third queue, where Cleo and Doxy had to go, is for the, uh, the the other queue, the alien species of, of the galaxy. Yes. Well, we didn't complain about it at all. We just uh, got on with it and peacefully did that. <laughs> Peacefully, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> Cleo and Dr. Z, they were immediately, yeah. well, I say immediately, they waited in, in a long queue for a long time. But uh, upon reaching customs, they were immediately, like, sort of questioned whether or not they had a visa, which, of course, they did not. Dr. Z rolled high on his hacking, and um, in fact, he didn't even hack, didn't he? In mind hacked. The mind hacked. Just, mind yeah. meld. The, uh, the, uh, the bureaucrat, the, uh, nice. the, the officer. And, um, uh, <laughs> And managed to do some do some fancy finger work behind the um, kiosk and give. <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> hey, hey, on got us console. through customs, all right. So we got through. If that's all we had to do, <laughs> just, then that's just all under we the had kiosk. To do. <laughs> under the kiosk. Okay, Doc, no one saw. Doctor, that's that's invasive surgery. But I he mean, gave, if uh, it's between me and Doctor Z, it's like you could have the bear claw or the j- or the jelly, the soft jelly. You know, yeah. easy, a little easy bit call, of a, easy call, really. A little sting every now and then, but you know that depends. That's on That's that mood. KY jelly, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there we go. My new Surprise. bar. Surprise! Mm. Surprise! I can be any shape you like, and then every now and then it's gonna burn. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, he gave gave the two of them diplomatic visas from the uh, the planet Earth. Is 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 quite a quite a distant. Planet and quite a it's it's where the Ursan species of which uh, Cleo is currently a member at least hail from and, and they are, they are a hated species in civilized places so it was quite a sensible <laughs> way to sort of uh, expedite the process of getting her into into the Empire because well you know she otherwise might not have been particularly well and then oh, they feud again I guess <laughs> billionth time Cleo also hid inside a gel cap for that part to try and hide <laughs> her bare appearance which. Had some degree of success. Wait, she like <laughs> used the gel cap on herself to make a disguise? Yeah, and then yep. she yes. just sort of like wobbled and had Dr. Z's and keeping her steady. I love the idea that these people were more likely to accept in like a fucking homogenous blob with something clearly inside than a bear. <laughs> it worked. Oh, is it like a dead bear inside? That's fine. We, 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 yes, like, that when those, we like it when those oh, things are dead. It's an art piece. That's the carry on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We're just feeding on this, don't worry. 
But then they got stopped again at custom. Uh, after doing so well at immigration, gave up all their equipment onto the conveyor belt, and Dr. Z stepped into the scanner, and it was immediately trouble because they did not like the look of the honey boy. They thought that was very suspicious. Dr. Z got shocked a few times. Cleo like got a it. few very huge, like, sort of automatic hunting rifles pointed at her, which he rightly questioned why they needed weapons like that in an, an airport. Um, the two were finally, after, like, a, a sort of a dangerous standoff, and the uh, pissed off security and bureaucrats alike, eventually said, okay, like, we, we don't want to deal with you anymore, and sent them off the, um, the diplomat, mm-hmm. which turned out to be just yet another queue, another waiting room. But Plan Zarg, otherwise known as Herodrum, were also waiting in that same room. Oh, fuck yeah, my Harad room. They explained to the bastards there was a bit of an irregularity with their passports because, as as everyone ought to know, the, the system of first snare was never truly conquered by the Empire all those hundreds of years ago. In fact, they ended up signing a treaty, and they're a semi-independent nation there, which is all well and good. So they're, you know, they're within the Empire, they have to follow certain rules, certain laws, and so on, and they're, they're granted freedom of travel and so on. But Plan Tsar were... One of the only clans of First Nair who never signed any of the treaties, you know. Again, hundreds of years ago, and they live on a moon called Tsar. Mm. And uh, so there's, there's, a, there's a bit of an irregularity. Either like their, their clan is actually allowed complete self-determination because they were never conquered and they never signed a treaty, or uh, they are members of the Empire. It's, it's all very messy, so they've, they've been trapped in this diplomacy room as well anyway. So, uh, ah. Seems this is a job for the one and the only aristocrat. And um, we, we wrapped up uh, the clan chief of First Snare. Actually, personally made a call through to Clan Zarg to have a chat with them. But uh, before Google we resolve clan. that, I just had to Google Zarg because uh, it's actually from Toy Story. The number two, the bad character was Zerg. Z U R G. But I'll, I've been thinking, like, is that the same character? It's not. Anyways, like I think the Zarg, Zarg might have been the bad guy in um, in uh, the Fifth Element. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's you very might Fifth be right. That nigga. I mean, isn't that the like bug people in Starcraft? They call the Zerg with an E. Yeah. So there's the Zerg with a U, which is um, the evil purple character from Toy Story Two. In Toy Story. Mm-hmm. And then Zerg with an E is the bug people in Starcraft. Mm-hmm. And what did you think? Fifth Element. Zorg. He's Zorg. <laughs> He's Zorg. <laughs> These are all so, very, very, very amazing imaginative sci-fi names, aren't they? This is completely <laughs> unique and and uh, patented now. But who bastards. do you think Zargon was? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Who is that? First Emperor of Akkad. What about what Zardos? Zardos? Oh, I love Zardos. Zardos. What's Zardos? The gun. That, yeah, that, that Sean Connery Sean Connery film. The gun is holy. Oh, yeah. When shoot, he's like in the fucking... seeds uh, of death. The penis what? is evil. It shoots life. The book okay. is fucking nuts. And oh, the this, mouth- is the, this is the Dostoevsky. No, this is the Yodorovsky thing. I don't know who wrote the book. Sorry, I've just seen the movie. That's what I mean. But it's fucking Isn't great. The, the, director? the mouth just opens up. I, and just he probably guns fall is. It fucking looks like something that he would have made. I, I only saw it years ago. That's the one where where Sean Connery's like running around in like a red uh, yeah tight red, little like, cloth, big G string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, <laughs> but like, they're like massive, like thigh high boots as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good look. Shooting everyone. Oh, oh we should thing. have a like a we should have a Sean Connery from Zardoz type character show up in Backward of Bastards at some point. Anyway, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Before sorry. before we resolve that conversation, uh, we might back in time and just see what uh, Herodotus was getting up. To. All right, let's do it. The Herodotus, of course, um, arriving slightly before the other bastards. Mm, of course. On on the other side of of the sort of loud rowdy clan Zarg, all um. 19 of them, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. Between him and Cleo and uh, Dr. Z. And, you know, by the time all of you sort of filed out of the landing platform, got to the, the queues, like it was a very good time to just rush straight to the Nationals queue because there was no one else there waiting. Ah, I love a ready queue! Ah, just straight through, no nonsense, straight to business. That's the traveler's life, don't you know? Yeah, follow me, everybody. And then uh, <laughs> Rose kind of just beelines for it, assuming, of course, that everyone has the same privileges. Because... <laughs> Meanwhile, the, uh, the the entirety of the Herodron sort of like sullenly joining quite a, a rather long queue of, of colonial humans. Z and Cleo joining an even longer ridiculous queue of just strange oddities. <laughs> and, uh, 
getting in line just ahead of what appears to be perhaps a um a stag do or hen's night of these flamingo like creatures all squawking up the storm. <laughs> but Herodotus doesn't really perceive much of this as he heads straight up to the kiosk. Oh, good day there, sir. Our passport, please. Did you please? Did you please? Herodotus produces his his kind of uh, his Earth ID, which is kind of a long sort of. Um, so, sort of Im imitation papyrus scroll made in like Kevlar or some shit with like long hand scrolls on it with like stamps and shit that glow with the like LED lights and all kinds of like weird <laughs> stuff and he kind of unrolls it and goes <laughs> I Hrondus <laughs> Arthurian Menrod uh, the third of the Calavante and starts sort of <laughs> Yeah. Running down his list of ti titles and family names. I'm picturing a librarian from Warhammer 40k. <laughs> Just like a long... <laughs> I'm picturing one of those like birthday cards that you open and it yeah. starts playing yeah, exactly. a horrible little song and then doesn't, I... sh doesn't shut up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's shooting those, the Xenos those, those, while those he's doing it. good like <laughs> anti-images. That's exactly what's happening right here. Exactly. Uh, and then as he kind of com com comes to the end of his 17th fucking title, he's like, Have returned to the realm to undo my banishment and gleam great glory and conquest and adventure. As my position of nobleman, third grade, with my retinue, etc., etc. <laughs> Claim admission. <laughs> Full stop. End of message. <laughs> Little sort of um, little, little chip reader pointed at the at the uh, the passport. There's, there's a little digital chip inside. It's got all all the relevant information. Like, <laughs> oh yes, thank you very much. You can go on through. Ah, thank you, thank you. Send the baggage and the slavery and and and, and, and the rest of the uh, retinue through as soon as I am processed. Yes, and don't let them touch anything. They're terribly dirty. I haven't had them dis disinfected yet. Oh yes, the re the retinue. Um, I don't suppose you have the uh, uh the, the numbers or the the digi scan for their passports. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> we can. How dare you, peasant, asking me such questions? You sort this out yourself. It's not my job. Does it say immigration <laughs> specialist behind any of my titles? No, it doesn't, sir. No, it does not. That is your job. That is what you get paid for, sir. Now do your bloody job, sir, or I will see your manager. Uh, very good. I, I'll, I'll flag your name with the other kiosks. I'm sure we'll sort this out in quick order. Uh, in the yeah. meantime, please <laughs> enjoy the facilities. Uh, you you will still of course have to go through customs. I I, uh, you can declare anything you've got with you uh, at at that note. Uh, uh, good day, sir. Very good. Uh, I do I do declare. I could use a whiskey neat. Uh, no no no, no eyes, no rubbish. Uh, post haste, good sir. Post haste. <laughs> Evan, it is exactly as I called it when we were playing with uh, the idea that you weren't here, and we talked about how you just walked through immigration. <laughs> I was like, I bet they're fucking just handing him a drink, a birthday present, a pack on a pat on the back, like just as you wander through. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh, 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 and they're all just sort of uh, as as the guy's about to flee in pursuit of a whiskey, he sort of uh, sort of dresses the man down. And excuse me, sir. I heard no congratulations coming from you. I said I'm returning with glory and conquest. <laughs> oh my God. Congratulations, good sir. Uh I, I, I do hope that uh, your stay here will be a, a pleasant one. I Don't you mean homecoming, sir? Uh, of course, of course. Uh, although it, it does say here, Earth. Well, well, in family homes and whatnot. Wait, where the fuck are we? I thought we were on Earth. No, we're, we're on New Terra. I, sh I should explain, actually. Oh, I, did, I did mention this last episode, but New Terra and Earth, almost like um, they, they, they both orbit the same sun. They both orbit the same star. New Terra okay. is technically the um, the capital of the empire, but Earth is uh, a bit more of a traditionalist imperial bastion. The, the, oh, that's um, fair, but then we're back in the solar system, right? Yeah, in the same solar system. For you, you can literally, like, as a citizen, you can just jump on a fucking sky bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. over there. As a co as my, as a cosmopolitan as myself, New Terra is as home as my own backyard. We own several interests on the planet. At this point, the officer is sort of looking hopefully sort of towards the empty queue, hoping that someone might sort of file in and take Rodgers' place. But as no one does, he kind of clicks his fingers and uh, what is almost like a sort of a little sort of luxury golf cart just sort of rolls up 
It's got a, uh, a long padded bench in the back, a small table upon which a neat whiskey sort of sits <laughs> centrally, a parasol over top, but there being no weather to protect you from, and is uh, being <laughs> driven by sort of a uniformed young human fellow. Ah, fine young fellow. Thank you for the drink. Now, if you would chaperone me to the nearest purveyor of fine food and good drinks. Uh, yes, sir. That's uh, just straight through customs, then. Uh. Don't the, uh, Lord. Oh, good Lord, man. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the car just sort of takes off, just all lurching and lunging uh, um, down the corridor. The, uh, the, the driver does a skidding, skidding, drifting parallel park right next to the, uh, the, the gates of customs. Again, this is a nationals queue. There only seem to be about three people ahead. Already seem to sort of yeah, have their, uh, their their jackets off, their, uh, their belts undone. Can I roll for perspe- perception? Certainly. All right. I want to see if if I can see any signs or insignias of rank. Clear. Can you imagine this shit? You just got through. Actually, as as you are well connected, you can have a plus five on this as well. Barely. You just got nice. through in like five right. minutes, Clear. That took us an entire episode, and we still in it. He he's still got to go. He's still got to go through. Um, go through custom. Oh, don't make it look like it's the same. This, is, this took us hours. This is ridiculous, clear. And we got physically assaulted. Yeah. That's, so that's a, a natural 20. twenty then. A dirty twenty. A slight, something less than natural twenty. It's, he it's doesn't 20 even need that same. twenty, but he gets it anyway. Fucking, privilege. Hey, why not just hand him more gifts, Dicky? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I, I've I've taken quite a bit and away from Herodotus in his like his um his pistol firing rolls over the days. So, uh, <laughs> true that, true that. But he's finally in his up. in his true element. He's yeah, yeah he's dealing with <laughs> this is his, his favored his terrain. Homeworld <laughs> bureaucracy. Yeah. Yeah. He's playing. We're a home finally game. playing five E. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it when the plan comes together. <laughs> Cleo and I out here getting molested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't even gotten finished getting ripped up by these people. <laughs> We're about to get ripped up again. And he's been handed a fucking whiskey neat. Bloody mm. hell. <laughs> oh, Lagavulin, still good after all. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, all the officers dealing with immigration and customs are all military people. The woman um, behind the, the kiosk here is a, is a private in the military. You can immediately see fully uniformed and so on. But in the queue, there is actually um, uh, someone who has all the bearing of an officer, and uh, certainly the the prosthetic arm that they are struggling to remove and place on the conveyor belt definitely looks right, military. But I don't see any 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 insignia of rank on that person. You don't see any insignia of rank on them. Are they? They're traveling in civilian clothing. Oh, very well. But your 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 discerning eye certainly uh, pigs. <laughs> very good. Well, still have to test it, yep. don't I? So Herodotus uh, puts on his best parade ground voice and goes, Attention! <laughs> All of a sudden, both the private behind, who was in the middle of um, processing someone's baggage and the uh, the military gent you spotted, sort of just leap to attention, sort of looking looking up to up at you quickly. And then uh, upon noticing your rank, they they sort of maintain their, uh, their, their straight and, and rigid. They're, they're standing for inspection. <laughs> Yeah, and what about the what, what about the private? The, the private is also doing that, even though she's oh, in the middle of middle of work. Okay, yeah. Okay, so so Herodotus sort of you are you are you are calling rank, can't you? I am. Herodotus marches straight up to the processing booth and goes, uh, "How long is the wait, private?" Uh, so, yes, sir, uh, I have been waiting for precisely three point two minutes thus far. Very well. Uh, me, 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 me. Would you uh, would you be a darling and fetch me a snack? If I have to wait, I might, might as well do so in comfort. You see, I've just returned from great loot and splendor upon the feet of glory, and so I uh, see myself entitled to a bit of a triumph. If you see what I mean? Uh, maybe, <clears throat> something not too calorific, you know, and trying to look after the figure. The uh, the private at this point, sort of realizing that. Uh, he really does need to get the queue moving along. You know, these, these are nationals after all. Of course, sir. I, I'll send for something immediately. See, she's like quickly like buzzing something onto a little radio and then sort of gives you a, like a, a nod of like, yes, this is sorted. Don't even worry about it before uh, continuing buzzing the possessions of the person at the head of the queue. Thank you very much. 
Gerald just says and sort of uh, stands this point in line. <laughs> Put up your go fishing sign. Yeah. Get me a sandwich. Ridiculous. <laughs> We Commodore, are here being accosted. It's, it's always a always a pleasure to uh to wait in line with uh one of my fellow fellow military men. Where where have you been posted? If I may be so bold as to inquire. Ah, uh, you can be so bold as to re- uh, to to uh, to uh oh, what did you say? Inquire. But uh, I am not at liberty to say. You see, uh, higher echelon, very hush hush sort of stuff, don't you know? I I. I I have formed my own uh, shadow squadron, and we have been operating behind enemy lines. <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff! Oh well, if if you need further members, uh, do uh, do look at me. My name is uh, Reginald Max Flugens. <laughs> Max Flugens? Is, is that of the Georgetown Max Flugens? Oh no, I'm afraid I can only dream of that. <laughs> um, so can they. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good, very good man. I shall uh, put your number on the register. If we need good men, and we most likely do, uh, you seem like a uh, good, uh, good cannon for the material. It's the kind of man we want for today's army, don't you know? You know, an unhesitating willingness to leap into danger hides an underrated quality in the soldier. <laughs> well, yes, so, so so I like to believe. Uh, oh, it's got yes. my my turn now. Then I guess he uh, manages finally. Don't to... Don't you mean my turn? <laughs> he finally manages to, to pull off his prosthetic arm, and he's holding it with his one good arm, sort of like looking his little plastic tray filled with all his loose goods. Look, look back at Herodotus. It's like, oh, well, I, of course, Commodore. And now with his prosthetic arm, he sort of balances over one shoulder and then scoops up with his hand, the plastic bin, and sort of carries it. You can see he's like straining like with his, like his wrist, trying to hold the whole thing with one hand upright, and sort of like pulls himself out of the way to allow Herodotus to uh, take his place in line. Herodotus claps him heartily on the shoulder. (laughs) (laughs) Good man! Very good, very good. Ah, I like life in the fast lane. Clear, clear. This is some shit. What are you thinking hearing all this? Well, uh, somewhere in between the the mere fact that our line was dirtier and it stank and it was hot yep. because there was no air circulation yep. or or air conditioning yep. and there were about four hundred and thirty nine stanchions yep. that we had to like snake through and then we got up there <sighs> and the guy was about to put us in an intergalactic prison but we had to hack his actual existence yep. to fake. Some diplomatic passports. Oh, whinge, because our whinge, s- whinge. Karma is a bitch. <laughs> Deal with it. And we had to change our story like eight times because it wasn't yeah. working. <laughs> uh, maybe if you just stuck to the truth, it would have been Which done by now. Which would have gotten us just, put in the intergalactic prison. If you had just prison. sworn yeah. everlasting <laughs> loyal to the house And Mendelroff. then we had to go into the you thing. Done I had to get naked. Yep. I had to get naked. Diplomic ass was on on view for everyone. Was and Doctor Z even after they knew I was a diplomat, I had to get naked. And then Doctor Z got shocked like fifteen times. Yep. Was it worth it, Doctor? Was it worth it all for your pride? Well, I look forward to seeing you and having a having a little discussion over your apparently easy freeze <laughs> of a time. Well, of course, as well, like, at this point... Don't take it up with me. Very few of these things have even happened. You guys are still waiting in the We're first still- queue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can believe that. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, don't worry about us, Harry. We're good. Right now, I'm just tasting the jelly capsule. <laughs> I mean, Herodotus had like a queue of zero, followed by a little ride and a whiskey, <laughs> and then a queue of a queue of three. And they're clearly just being like, you know, like quickly patted down and flipped through. Yeah, awesome. and effectively a queue of two since he's yeah. guilting the fucking handicapped dude. <laughs> oh, well, you, man. You've, 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 got a, you've got a missing leg, although you haven't thought to take it off and put it on I the belt. I have an augmented leg, let's be honest. My, beg- my leg has never been better. 
he just roller skated on through that that line. Basically. Yeah. Oh, and that's then what he, he's basically. doing. And then they saw him coming, so they put down a little tiny ramp little so jump. that he could get some air. A little bit yeah. of and a he did one of those lips so that he can get a bit of a grind going on while he's fucking collecting yeah. points oh, for Tony. Yeah. While yeah. all of the like all of the bureaucrats went wow yeah. and clapped, Bicycle. golf clapped, and then the yep. and then the whole room clapped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right, and Commodore. Then he landed uh, onto a red anything, carpet. anything to declare? I'm fantastic. <laughs> oh yes, I, I, I anything, <laughs> any, uh, any, <laughs> any dangerous or foreign or controlled substances to declare at customs. I meant, of course. Well, I did bring my own Herodrim. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> I, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not aware of the term. Well, it might be a little ethnic. Um, my own personal <laughs> bodyguard, an army that fights for the family honor, sworn to me in the heat of battle, the very burning fire of courage be the fire that lights the passions within us all, <laughs> rises upon the eternal battlefield. Yes, oh, yes um, certainly. Um, what, what, did I, you I, have? I suppose they're sort of wild men in a way. I, I, I think they're vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Could you, uh, could you see to it that they are fed and watered? I, I, I'm sure this could, this could be arranged. Um, did you have Very good. A, a scan of their... I have absolutely their... trusted you okay. and the institution. Uh, you do marvelous work. Uh, as long as you serve, and serve well. I, well without this, yes. too many questions. I shall, I, shall flag you, I shall flag your name with the other kiosks. Very good, very good. Uh, Mindroth the third, yes, yes. Uh, there's also a question of the rest of the retinue. Where does one apply or have one's solicitor do it uh, externally? I, 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 I apologize. Uh, would you repeat the question? Oh, good lord. Can I speak to your manager? Oh, yes, certainly, certainly. I, one moment. <laughs> I would say thank you, but you've insulted me. We shall have a duel. <laughs> I shall kill you. Yes, yes. Oh, no, no. Well, he's, he's a Commodore. Yes. Well, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Oh, I, I, he, he doesn't have the numbers. What Any I said? moment now. Okay, uh, uh, can, I, can I pass you over? Okay, I'm, I'm pass... Commodore, Commodore. Uh, this <laughs> is my superior. Uh, I'll pass it over now. But you, want, you wish me to speak? Into an audio telegraph? It's just he's it's quite far away. He will come here and address me in person like a man of honor. How can <laughs> I put my fate into a, into the into the hands of a man I cannot see? At this point, the uh, the one armed officer is looking mighty depressed that he gave you his spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 he wants to he wants to talk to you in person. He's, no, I said that as well. Uh, sorry, uh, Commodore. Um. Perhaps we could, perhaps we could, uh, we could usher you through to a, uh, to a more comfortable location and my, my officer, my, 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 uh, my manager could speak to you there. Perhaps you could get me and my retinue fast tracked through this place before I call my very good friend, the Duke of Argenta, to, uh, <laughs> to come here and sue your bloody dadges off. What do you think no, of that, my boy? I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure none of this will be necessary, uh. Um, I, shouldn't I, I will have so. to. I will have to look inside that case, though. However, rules, you see. Which case would that be? What, the, the, the one in your hands. You very well. It only looks in, no touchy. That's the one filled with credits, you know, Herodotus. Oh shit! Is that going to be fun? <laughs> well, I mean, do you plan on paying but taxes you, for them? You have you have been pulling rank, but uh, yeah, ta- taxation is always going to be a thing. Oh, oh. hundred thousand dollars. Put it in your butt. 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 Hurry up. <laughs> put it, put it, put it, put it, put it in your butt. Put it Where's in your it going to go? Put it in your butt. Where is it? Put it in your butt. Put it in your butt. Put it in your butt. Leo, we can make a put song. Put it in your butt. <laughs> put it in your butt. Put it in your butt. Put it well, in your butt. Then I must ask oh you God. a question, yeah. my boy. Yeah. Yeah. More I, a request, really, and it's a little. I am a woman, rich. sir. But uh, yeah. what is the request? Boy is more of a general term, anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <right>. How <laughs> do you understand the terms of clienthood? The, the, the Have you of... been tutored in the ways of nobility? This sounds real sexy. I know, right? Chopping up over here. Well, well, I. Uh... Have you been tutored in the ways? Do you understand how bribery works? Oh, I see. Oh, we... uh... Yes, Daddy. What? 
Was that, that, that's <laughs> something in the case you shouldn't have, then. No, it's oh. very much something I should have and would like to continue to have. And <laughs> so it falls to you to do the honorable thing and accept um, my perpetual friendship and possible future uh, companionhood. <laughs> <laughs> Against the absolute assurance, mum is the word. Do you understand? He's um, sort of like blushing and looking a bit confused, like, You promise it's nothing dangerous, yes? Uh, nothing but dangerous fun. <laughs> I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket, I say that. Oh my. God. Keep up. I've, I've got to at least pretend to look inside the case. Oh, very well. You can grab a little. <laughs> Keep grab a little handful, but be gentle. He sort of like reaches out for the uh for the, the case. <laughs> Tentatively. <laughs> What's the game? Who is gonna fuck first to get their cousins? <laughs> this airport, man. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, did we? Do you think we spent enough money on Boris to get this kind of service? I think Boris is down. He was down from the moment we met him. <laughs> he didn't even care who was who was like asking. He loved a bit what, of. Alba. I mean, Bo Boris yeah. already already drove uh, drove uh, drove um, <laughs> Herodotus Herodotus, and he's gonna come pick you guys up sometime shortly, I suppose. Cruising for some strange. He's cruising for some strange, and he's got it in us too. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> yep. The strangest strange you ever gonna get, Harry and Jelly. Harry and Wit. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Herodotus um, just uh, just allows her to sort of pop the clasps and open up the case then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she, I mean, she, pop, I mean, she pops, I mean, pops the, the clasps and opens up the case. <laughs> I don't does. think you're ready for this, Jelly. I don't think you're ready for this, cuz. Too Arthur delicious for you, babe. <laughs> And there's a bit of a bit of a pulp fiction moment when it um spring loaded case sort of pops open <laughs> and it is just full of credits and she, you know her, her, her mouth almost drops open she she stops herself nods like for the benefit of the of the cameras and so on oh yes yes uh, all in order <laughs> yeah she, she closes closes the Did case it? again sort of like gritting her teeth and almost sort of wishing that she had hinted that she might like some sort of numeric bribe. Flies the case back over to Rodgers and says, And you, you will put in a good word, yes? Well, <laughs> depends. Where do you want, where, where do you want to go? I certainly don't want to stay in customs. It's not I joined the military at all. If you ever feel a need for, for extracurricular action, then uh, don't be afraid to join up. We are putting together a special group. Very hush hush stuff. We go under the cover name of the uh, Herodrim. Keep an eye out. Will do, sir. Okay. Oh, that. I believe that's your sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Standing, standing just on the other side of customs is a um. It's a waiter. It's a straight up waiter, like wearing a, a shirt and jacket, all sort of tucked in and a bow tie, holding a, a platter, on which sits a small pile of triangular white bread sandwiches with the crusts cut off. Ah, wimp. <laughs> Cucumber and cream cheese, my favorite. <laughs> ah, ah, officer, officer. I shall need your badge number and name. Well, of course, as, as I said, Reginald. No, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean private. Oh, private, okay. Oh, of course. Uh, let me just get a pen and write down the name in my notes because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to forget. <laughs> if you're writing down your name, you might as well add your number. Eh? <laughs> You know the biggest tragedy of this this whole thing of like Herodotus getting through so easily and like getting like given like booze and snacks and so on is that if the two of you had just name dropped him, oh, he had already off, he'd already got his name at both oh. counters. Hey, this is a retcon smooth, though. This is a retcon, this so this doesn't retcon. count. This doesn't this count. This is a retcon. Okay, Dicky. No, Dicky, don't act. Don't sit there and tell us how we should have done it because. It's a retcon, all right? <laughs> this is a week ago. You're trying to tell us a week ago we should have done things differently? No. I yep. fuck off, mate. Fuck off. Fuck on your mum. Fucking fork handles, you fucking bastard. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I've been enjoying the fork handles fork meme hand a lot this week. <laughs> what is that?
that? What's the four candles? Uh, a guy walks into a into a shop. Hey, hello. I'd like to buy four candles. And the guy goes, four candles. All right. Goes and picks up four candles and hands it over. And he says, no, no. I'd like four candles. Yes. There we go. Four candles. No, no. Fork handles. Four candles. <laughs> it just there you go then it continues and it's pretty Hand, handles of some forks yes yeah exactly yeah 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 <laughs> i was hoping that the, the joke would be that there was like yet another interpretation i hadn't thought of yet no no no, no yeah no. i thought this it's very, get out of here it's very, that's not a meme it's very base lip. no it's not a meme no it's old it's old british comedy it's brilliant um anyways yeah <laughs> No. Fuck your retcon. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Of course, I, I, I'm sitting down today. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down and leave an order. I'm, I'm, I'm private, private stocks, <laughs> private Amelia stocks. Um, you, you can scan my badge here for the number. It's quite long. Yes, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. I've got it all. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm. <laughs> Don't contact me. I'll be contacting you. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's stock, stocks with an X. An X. Ve- very good, very good. Winter is coming. What, what was the last thing you just said? Winter is coming. You said. Okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh well, that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, none of us got that. <laughs> no. Noobs. She she looks at you kind of confused as you sort of wander away with, I guess, with a tray of sandwiches. And then mm. after sort of sh- shaking off the cobwebs, turns back to the uh, the officer whose arm has already beeped and set off the machine. Oh, well. Wow. Um, at which point Herodotus is legally and safely in New Terra with uh, some some non-declared tax-free cash and then uh, all, the, the, all the facilities of the, um, of the spaceport. Uh, at his disposal while the others find their way through. Mm. Well, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, let's get into some trouble. <laughs> what, what are my options? What can I kind of get up to now? Well, you could um, sort, of, sort of just do some duty-free shopping or go to a, go to a, a bar or restaurant. It's like an airport. Or you could um, try and chase up the Herodrum. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll, uh, I'll sort of wander around a bit and go, wait, where is my Herodrim? And so I go to the information desk. I look around, I guess, and look for an information desk. Well, there, there are many information desks. I mean, this is this is new terror after all. It's, uh, this is a, a, well, it's not spotless, but it's, it's pretty modernized. It's, everything's all sort of white and silver. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the sort of a cyberpunk fucking or is it blue and gold? Hell, hellscape. Blue and gold. Oh, it's blue and gold, <laughs> isn't it? I already said it was blue and gold. No, 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 no I was referring to the dress. That was two different colors, you know? Oh. oh. <laughs> well, yeah. what, 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 what did I say it was then? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. I think I said, I might have said blue and silver. Yeah. I can't remember. Blue, anyway. white, and silver. Yeah. The colors of the empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yes, there, there, the, the key thing is there are multiple information points, including one very near to your location, having just uh, come into the planet. All right. So I head to the nearest information booth then and uh, be lining up to it. I uh, kind of shed all my papers onto the desk in front of the uh, the hapless uh, public worker. <laughs> and, uh, go, uh, excuse me, um, could you uh, find for me uh, my um, uh, my uh, my uh, my uh, Herodrim, please? I I don't know what you mean, but um, fine. It is to locate to uh, no longer make. Uh, lost to uh, retrieve, if it's all possible, to uh, make uh, clear location of. Am I getting through to you, sir? Hello. Uh, you know no, the no, 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 no. The, the other word. The other word. What? What am I finding for you? Oh, the Herodrim. Is this a uh, a kind of luggage? There's a luggage stand just this way. I... Well, I suppose in some ways they are luggage. They are <laughs> a weighty burden for me to bear. Uh, you know, my, uh, my, uh, my, my destiny in many ways is now tied to theirs. Now that they've sworn themselves in everlasting duty to house Mendelroth. And oh, I, I see. Your, your servant, Simon. Well, I mean, in, in a way, I suppose, more of a sort of retinue, really. You know, they do my beating, they fight my wars, they die for me, if it would be necessary. They procure from, procure, procure from me. The, es- the essentials of life, and, uh, you know, a little extra from time to time. It depends on whether or not I've been a good boy, but I've been a good boy. Well, do, do, you have, uh, do you have their... Uh, what, what voice am I doing here? Do you have their passport scans? 
Uh, no, I'm no villain. <laughs> well, I... It's not, it's not much I can do from this end, I'm afraid. Uh, do, do, you no, know, I know. do you know you their names? The bean, but I'm uh, not asking for much, am I? There are quite a lot of people in the spaceport, sir. Uh, a- a- any number of them could be uh, your Herorum. Herodrim. <laughs> Her- 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 my good Her- man. Herum. <laughs> Look at me. Herod- Who am Herum. I? Exactly. Uh, I-, I can't say I've had the pleasure, sir. Well, <laughs> obvious. However, I did tell you that I am uh, Sir Herodotus Arthurian Mendelroth the Third. I am the scion of, scion of House Mendelroth, and you, my good man, knowing my name, could very easily locate me within your systems and see whoever came with my same flight. You're looking for a doctor, a bear, and about half a dozen rapscallion. Ah, uh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, okay, ah. Uh, Yes, there were there were some vessels at the same time. Uh, a transport cruiser was it with uh, 19, 19 humans? Am I on the yes. right track? Very oh. possibly, but I would not want to interfere with your work. You okay. find them, you check them through, you make sure they're well watered and kept, you know, entertained and whatnot, <laughs> and uh, and then have them come find me. I'll be over at that very fine establishment over there that looks like you can have a very rollickingly good time while you wait. Thank you very much, and uh, how's Medloth will not forget your service, good or bad? <laughs> at this point, the um the the attendant at the information stand is sort of like sort of drawing some lines together and sort of realizing that Plan Zarg have been uh, detained in this um this diplomatic uh bureau- bureaucracy um room. I, what do I call it? In, in the queue that they've been waiting. You called it the diplomat and, um, room last episode, so. The diplomat room. Yes. That's the official term. Yes. I need to work at, a, at an airport at some point to learn better how these well, things I work. I wish you would, Well, you Dickie. told us okay, it was called that. you would make this... You told us it was called that, but I think you lied. Yeah, I think this episode <laughs> would benefit from you doing a few shifts at an airport, please, Dickie. It would help. <laughs> <laughs> I need to spend some time in the military as well, and perhaps, like, just be involved in some sort of, like, a uh, feudal... Uh, empire or kingship. Uh, I need to understand a bit more yeah, well, about um, land and gentry. And next, you can become a bear. Oh yeah, okay. But regardless, this 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 helpful helpful information service operator uh, realizes rather quickly that um the only real way to expedite the processing of the Herodrum immediately spotted what's happened is that they're um that they're from Persnia but they don't have passports and. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that happens all the bloody time because that, that that system is a real, real bloody nightmare. They're, they're in the Empire, they're not in the Empire, nobody quite understands how it works. He takes it upon himself to uh, put in a call to the Embassy. And uh, that, that call does involve enough information that it somehow makes its way up the line. It does take a couple hours, but all that information gets all the way up the line to the clan chief first. And she calls the spaceport get in contact with Plan Zarg, who are making their homecoming after years of exile, which gets us all caught up, in a way, with the other bastards. And um, perhaps we could call that a, a, a short break to, uh, to, to, to hear some words from our sponsors. Ooh. We have sponsors? Well, not really, but they're <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, um, Herodotus is is informed that um, although they they couldn't find the jelly and the beer, as he put it, they have come across the Herodrum and that they are being held in the diplomat room, put through to the embassy in, ho- in hopes to uh, sort out the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, best of luck to them. All right, so is Herodotus is sort of going to go and uh, get a drink or something, or uh... yeah, 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 he's seeking out the local watering hole. All right, well let's let's jump then through time and space to that diplomat room and see what's going down. As, as you might recall, Dr. Z and Cleo were huddled amongst the um, the 19 members of Plan Zarg. And I'd just been talking to other Z. Yeah, you've just been talking to the the, the droid Z, the synthetic hacker Z. Dear Hoping, I guess, to sneak in with them somehow. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're huddled with them, walking up to the uh, reception. I mean, to be honest, like you, you've kind of already got visas sorted. You just you've just got to like okay your um your jelly this. body and potentially all of Cleo's bombs. Yes. So what do you need from us for this bit? Good question. Like this is this is going to be like me talking with me. I feel like so, it uh, is at the moment. <laughs> yeah, which is is, is is an awkward situation to be in, but uh, I'll, I'll try and make I it. Like um, it. I, like uh, it's, I enjoy it, Cleo. <laughs> I am going to get some popcorn yeah. for this once-in-a-lifetime performance of Dick on Dick. Dick on Dick. Well, well, well. We've got <laughs> Clan Zarg finally making their glorious return to the homeworld, do we? And uh, Trevor steps forward. is now becoming the, sort of the, the de facto spokesperson for this um, Rodrum. He drops to one knee rather briefly and does a sort of... Uh, Sort of nod, kind of bow thing. Blanchy, yes, we um, we've uh, we ran into a, a whole lot of trouble over the last few years. Uh, more than more than I need to go through with you, but um, we're we're coming back, yes. And um, well, we were hoping perhaps you could help us uh get here into New Terror. We need to repair our equipment along the way. Interesting, that was it, Tre- Trevor Zarg, isn't it? Perhaps uh, perhaps we can uh, arrange something uh. Although your clan, I think, will have to bend the knee if you want my assistance. At which point Trevor, who is still down on one knee, rather quickly stands up, realizing that he had kind of kind of bent the knee. Literally. <laughs> what? That, that's not... We shouldn't have... Look, we... Zarg Moon is ours. The Empire never claimed it. You never claimed it. It's, it's ours. I see, I see. Well... I'll get you into New Terra, but we're going to have a conversation when you get back to First Nair. Is that acceptable, Clan Zarg, all of you? She's looking out, squinting and looking a bit confused as she sees Cleo's head hulking above some of these humans. All right, then. I, I will arrange the paperwork. One of my people will send through... Uh, how many of you is there? And he's sort of like looking around. He's like, uh, 21... <laughs> 21, that's it. That is exactly good, Trev. 21. 21 temporary passports, then. Yes. No worry. They'll be through. In fact, there we go. Speak to speak to the woman at the desk. No, she, no she'll get you in. All right. All right. All right. This is a way, 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 way below my pay grade. I'm getting out of here. I'll talk to you idiots when you get back to first near. Don't take your time. And clicked off the projector. I, I only wish we had more conversation between the two of them. It was really, uh, it seemed like you really enjoyed it, Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I, I quite like the story that I've got going between them, but I don't like actually doing the conversation back and forth. Like well, maybe you, so shouldn't have, maybe you shouldn't have put me and Cleo in fucking uh, queues <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And at the back of the line, you know, we could have been there to help, but hey, that's all right. We weren't. <laughs> so wait, we're hiding in the middle. We're hiding in the middle. Yeah. Of them. Yeah. And, and now are we just going to sneak in? I mean, I guess. There is still the matter of um, clearing all your equipment, of course. Yeah, but maybe we're done in this room. Yeah. Did we win? I would like to win. Well, I love winning. Yeah. It's so cool. You've, you've, you've got Clan Zarg through. <laughs> Clan Zarg, uh, like they're, they're getting uh, fast tracked in now. Thanks okay, and we're it. in the middle of them, so like we get to come out. Yeah, all right. I look to the receptionist and be like, yes, we're uh, with Clan Zarg as well. One of the uh, 21. Two of the 21, rather. Ha <laughs> ha. Just yeah. all flustered. I mean, to be honest, like you, you already had perfectly good cover anyway with your um. It felt like we didn't have good cover. This time you've got this time you've got passports, which means you can actually um sort of breeze through an easier queue. Yeah, but okay. that's we're, we're we're a number behind them, so we don't want to wait. We're trying to get through. Oh, I see. Yes. You'd have to wait one more space in the queue. I. But, but the reason you guys were waiting was completely different to the reason they were waiting. <laughs> you've only sorted out their problem. <laughs> Wait, We're trying wait, to get wait, through Dick, this. what's going to happen? Yeah. What's going to happen to us? Tell us what's going to oh, happen, your stuff, Dick. <laughs> your, your stuff is still sitting at custom. Yeah. Oh, my being God. Guarded, wait, being guarded by say, that slightly mad cart driver. I was imagining that, like, we were all in here, and then we were all going to come out and finish that. Yes, that is exactly what I thought was going to happen. That's exactly what's going to oh happen. My, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> so I, I, let me continue. <laughs> the receptionist, been a looking day. rather bored, just drops a handful of these tiny little, they're just sort of little discs. They've got the exact same thing in them as Herodotus's crazy scroll thing, but they're, mm. they're sort of just cheap, cheap, catty, temporary versions. And there's about 21 of these discs, and they all just sort of declare you as, uh, as, as, as members of Clan Zarg because you, you're not there in the citizens' registry as, because the, um, the moon was never conquered. It, it does allow you a certain amount of, um, of, of autonomy, perhaps. Oh, they like are, a visa. Well, it's, it's different to a visa, though, because you're kind of like, you know, you're masquerading as, like, indigenous people on an unconquered part of the empire. And they've, uh, um, the, the empire has become a little bit less uh, imperial over the years. Noted that what they, some of what they did was wrong. Okay. And thus, Clan Zarg are in this sort of strange position of uh, being a completely independent nation in the middle of the empire. All right. If that makes any sense. It does, people. it does. So, yeah, you, they, they hand them out. They, they all sort of grab their little passports and give them to you guys. And they're like, all right then, um, we didn't try and bring any of the weapons or explosives through. We left them on the ship. Uh, how about you two? Well. Right, let us speak to the uh, receptionist <laughs> then. Um, yes, hello. We are from Clan Zarg, also diplomats of Earth. Um, <laughs> can, you, can you please give us our things? We've got them looked after by one human Boris. Looks down at her nails, that sort of uh, about 90% done now. <sighs> Passports. Yes, well, which one do you want? We've got a few. <laughs> well, I'm going to put all of my shit down. Yeah, I'll also drop all a, of mine st- in my a stuff mess. down as well. Well, there you go. In a big mess. What do you want? She sort of miserably sort of just sort of starts scanning them and eventually she gets to your, your actual digital passports for Cleo and Dr. Z which have got the items logged still trapped at customs. She's like Oh, I see. So you want me to clear the experimental costume you're wearing, is that right? Costume? What are you talking about costume? The experimental this is a... costume. Well now <coughs> costume is really just not clear. What do you think she's talking term about? For it? Costume. This is this is our well we wear this on our holidays it's part of our uh you're not wearing you know, anything just, well no well, because you uh, because you can't made see us it. get naked clear is wearing plenty thank you <laughs> i didn't want to get naked here but Look, i can either i didn't really get a lot of choices i can either log whatever it is you're floating in as costume or I can log it as military ordinance. Which do you think will get you through fast? Ah. Uh, it looks uh, like a costume to me, doesn't it? It looks like a costume to me, definitely. Now I don't. So know. you're saying you would like me to clear the costume? Yes, saying, yes, right? yes. I think we would like the costume cleared. Yes. Yeah, thank- but could you put down? Could you put down cosplay because? Yes. It's fancier than. It's a bit fancier. Right, that's- Look, that is that we is do better. we want to be taken seriously please we're diplomats <laughs> is the thing but if we is if we thing. wander in and everywhere everyone knows that we're wearing costumes above cosplay well it's but if we wander in and we're wearing a cosplay well then there well, you go you can imagine the looks we'll get oh turning heads it's quiet uh, meanwhile she literally just does like a little digital stamp and they're like clearing the um the honey boys like Go back to customs. I'm sure everything will be fine. I've logged it as a costume. Yes, yeah, well, sort of just, just, just sort of waves you away. Cosplay costume is what you put it as, though, isn't it? I mean, a, a, number one hundred and eighty-nine. Don't worry, we'll remember. Oh. Well, cos- clear cosplay costume is what we. Assume. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Do you think she has like any bowls of candy on her counter or anything? Like- <laughs> I or think like any, I think there's, any there's got to be because this, on this, chains? this is like this is still like a um this, this is the diplomat room after all it's not they don't treat diplomats quite as well as nationals but um it's still yeah I treat them quite well so there's there is a uh, a bowl of multicolored sweets of some description I'm gonna take that <laughs> just the whole bowl yeah leave one behind yeah <laughs> classic like Jetsons uh, opening scene where the Takes the some of the money, <laughs> puts the money in the guy's hand, and then takes the whole wallet. Like, yeah, okay, I'll leave one uh, in its place, and I will take the bowl. <laughs> she sort of pumps at you and like gives you like a, a look of death, but then turns to the, the quickly approaching um, diplomat. Yeah, it's 189's turn, so. Who's a sort of a, a, a tall, blue, fly face, got like lots of eyes on it. 
To Brundle Fly. Not to be trusted. <laughs> Brundle Fly. I'll put another one down in front of him for you, sir. Good day. The, the, the fly thing sort of twitches its little mandibles at it, but then it quickly comes up like, been long enough. I've been waiting seven hours in this damn spaceport. Don't you people have any decency at all? <laughs> yes, don't worry. And Just tell them it's know. a costume. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, like Trevor and the rest of Clan Zaga, like, we've, we've done plenty here. Let's, let's just get into the damn planet. And it's all right, we can, Trevor. <gasps> yes, we're following you. We're bloody fish. Someone's got ants in their pants, don't they? <laughs> in their costume, you mean? Yes, well, their costume. So, um, Clan Zarg file out of the room, back towards customs. As you sort of approach, you can see that um, all your stuff has been dragged off the conveyor belt and is just placed in a big pile right at the head of the queue of customs as being guarded by, uh, leaning against his little um, his little golf cart type thing, uh, Boris, the uh, the cart driver. Ah, oh, Cleo, look, it's Boris. My friends! I... I saved your place, sir. Come, come. I told you that it was just exactly what we needed. Ah, that Boris. Was the perfect amount. One of the greatest the humans we've ever known. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic, sir. Uh, I do have uh, uh, 12 pickups. I'd have to do so. I'll I, 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 I just go do those now. They've been waiting. Yes, well. Um. <laughs> Wait, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is white in a place like this? Have a lovely what time. <laughs> he cl- clambers onto his little cart and just skids and sh- shoots off back towards immigration to pick up someone else. That Boris, Cleo, you imagine? Oh. Boris. Well, and um, well, absolute. Darling. You find yourselves back at the head of the queue, ready to sort of like lump all your vestments back onto the conveyor belt. Still got to go through this. Okay. And engage Q <laughs> mode again. All right, you're at the front of the queue. Right. Um, yeah, makes a big difference. There's, there's another, uh, another. You're eight. inside a whale, but you're at the anus of yeah, it yeah, instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're so a close. Short, you just as smell that furry, shitty, fresh air. A short, furry alien. Um, has got the sort of these, this, these big leather cases that they've had to take all the things out of and sort of search through. A few things have been confiscated. It's all been sort of loaded back in. They fight finally zip this big long case up and this little short fairy fellow wipes the sweat off his face grabs this big case and drags it off and you're you're there right back at the head of the queue mm. oh, i see you've uh, found your way back to me then have you uh oh yes okay no you 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 shan't need to scan again then uh sir mr z was it yes it was dr z thank you very much and i'm here to pick up my costume you're wearing it well, I'm here to pick up other things then, of costume nature. <laughs> right, yes, you, you can step through. Um, they'll, they'll come through, uh, and yes, uh, just, just just over there. Yes, well, he sort of waves you waves you through the um past the tube thing that you had to step into before, mm-hmm. and then sort of uh, looking at Cleo like, right, um, oh, step in there, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get in the tube because I'm naked, right? Yeah. So whatever, cowabunga. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> never ending. The, t- <laughs> the tube I'm once in. again zaps closed. And Cleo's in there, and then all the little laser pointers all come out, and they're scanning up and down, and then it just opens up again, and she's uh, able to step out the other side. All right, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> she's naked. She ain't got nothing. Yeah, I don't have anything. She, is- <laughs> she ain't got nothing. Right. Oh, except the- a human woman. Yeah, <laughs> she's what? She's a bear. Yeah, a human yeah. woman inside a bear, though. Yeah, the, like, the soul is, is of a human woman. Wait, no, is she? Yeah, I was gonna say she's not a human woman. <laughs> yeah, the con, of the her con- <laughs> so the the factor of so the factor of nudity doesn't really factor in at all. That would also count yeah, as a fine. costume then. Yeah, oh, she's fine. Yeah, I mean, good, I mean at, at this point, everything is a costume for yeah. her. Listen, I'm good. I'm out. I'm out of the tube. I'm good. But you, but you're still inside the bear. Remember and that? as as you step through to the other side, another agent with a big gun is standing there at the other side, like. Please step over here with me, would you? <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Uh, and uh, Well, I mean, I just got to pick up my costume. Is that you did, is is this about it? Yes. Is this about yes. my Yes. Come come along this way. Okay. He he sort of leads you over. You can see where Dr. Z is at the end of the um conveyor belt. His things have actually sort of started popping out. He's able to sort of start re re-plugging in his arms and legs. 
trying to put some of the things in his packs and stuff back together because they've been um, r- rifled through. But Cleo's stuff is, is sort of half come through. And then it just got to a certain point where there was just a mound of explosive parts. <laughs> and it's um, been held up. Now, ma'am, you've got an awful lot of explosive kits. Ma'am. Y- yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, what, 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 what was it you do for a living? And lives. Uh, movies. <laughs> Excuse These me? These are just movies. These are part of the costume. They're, they're, they're live. They're, they're, they're live explosives. Well, they're really good. They're really good ones. We're me and my compatriot over there, Doctor Z. We uh we are really talented uh prop artists. I count and, here uh, 137 explosives kits. Well, we're making an, an action movie, so you know we're this is the action. <laughs> I'm loving this line. You mean to tell me you have enough ordnance to blow up this spaceport? I'm thinking about seven times over the entirety of the spaceport. And this is not a small port, I might add, for, for a movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 Don't worry. What, what's, it, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> well, right now it's in production, so we, we, aren't, we are using a fake name for it. Uh, and, you know, and that fake name is, I'm going to look at Dr. Z and, like, tap my head really hard. That fake name is... And look at him. Honey Bear 10. Yeah, well, uh, right now that we're calling sweet. it... <laughs> <laughs> what? Honey Bear Come 10 on, goes on. to the White House. No, what? <laughs> this, is what? Like, this is like porn names meet action film. <laughs> Honey Bear Honey 10, bear does 10 the goes to the White House. 10? <laughs> Honey Bear. Hang on. You said 10. There's not yes. many not many franchises up to. It isn't. <laughs> Hang on. Are you. Are they shooting on New Terra? It's not yeah. the one with, yeah. you know, Stephen Watts' face. <laughs> yeah, and you know what else? You know what else is. I mean, I really, I really shouldn't be telling anybody about this. I'm on an NDA. It's real strict. But, I mean, we are even building our crew from the local populace and we've got a, a military star uh, I think from your from your people uh, he's called Herodotus Arthurian Mendelroth and we have hired him on as a consult for the uh, oh, for the things stupid. of this nature but additionally I mean we really, we just we didn't know how great it would be and we saw him and I mean <laughs> Alia just the most charismatic species we've we've met in our travels and that I, I mean we have hang on Mendelroth. we're trying to broker a that's, Men- that the, yeah that's the name keeps coming down oh you should have led with that just take yeah. take them take them it's fine get, get on through you <laughs> he's been waiting Smooth. for hours <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you sir thank you I mean just before before I go, can can I get your name? You got a face that should be in pictures. But Damn not us. a voice for radio. No. Silent part. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna t- I just wanna take down your information just you know, just in case. It know, was Bren Brenvin Parky. Oh. I've been mean, writing I write it down <laughs> to you. Better that than a face for radio. So coarse, that Bren- voice. Oh just say it once. Oh. <laughs> Brenvin. I mean, oh, I, yes. I could see it. I could see it in a credit. Yes. You know? All right, well, I've got to get back to work, but I'm sorry about the he sort of like nods and sort of points down to all the um the scattered explosives oh, pits, the upturned bucket of junk, time. the um the slightly any disassembled time. rifle where the ammo has been taken out and looked at. I mean, you are just doing the fine work of your people. Not to mention the, the individual straps and parts and pieces of um, of Cleo's cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, Brent, Brenvin. Brenvin. You man among men, I will not forget you. Well, I guess, yeah, as, as Cleo's, um, almost like a threat. Cleo's putting all her stuff together, <laughs> the um, clan, clan Zarg themselves have also managed to make their way through customs pretty easily because they didn't try and take any heavy ordnance. <laughs> sick burn. I'm going to dump my stuff into burn. a cart. 
and uh, it's going to take Cleo a while to put her stuff back on. But meanwhile, um, Herodotus has legitimately, uh, after doing some some good work to get everyone through, but it, it didn't turn out all that quick. He's been waiting for hours. I, well, I like to imagine he's just sort of posted oh, up he's somewhere. Been, he's just been steadily taking it in. You know, he's just been nursing. Been nursing. Uh... Nursing what? Oh, 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 the. It's a special drink. Uh, one of my father's inventions. It's called uh, the Secret Road to Samarkand. <laughs> oh yes, it's based around the ancient phenomenon of of the spice trade. In, <laughs> in, in the, the bartender was sort of like <laughs> hovering, <laughs> like trying to trying yeah, to pour this the drink. Hog in the air. Yeah. It was specifications like you looking left and right mig whites you know you want to get the froth because that's is in getting some egg whites in you dunk it all in a but what vodka and you light that fucker on fire <laughs> now when <laughs> it's blaze blow torching the thing is as burning rather rather strongly flame in prime do the lights crew yeah Shaved from frozen farms so that the rain coming down will evaporate upon <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's like running around with basically like a Molotov cocktail, like like just sort of scooping and dropping okay. things in. <laughs> now, the final move, so to say, is a uh, instant caramelization. Yeah. What you do is you make a fine drizzle of crystalline sugar. And then as you have it raining down like mana from heaven, you ignite the flamethrower and give it a good old blast. Yes, the combination of sucrose and the petrochemicals in the flamethrower are going to make it a marvelous realization. Yes, yes, that's what we call the court supplant balier. <laughs> the, um, the bartender, sort of looking a little bit stunned and a little bit singed, <laughs> hands over. <laughs> A, uh, a a tall sort of uh, crystal glass with a a murky, <laughs> unpleasant-looking substance in it, with like some sort of like wads of caramel just sort of floating about it. Yes. <laughs> oh oh oh! I'm going to be naughty. He says and sort of takes out a little uh, flask from one of his many inner pockets and uh, tips the contents, then turning the entire thing vile smelling and green. <laughs> ah. <laughs> just like some fucking like nasty. <laughs> Like high proof peppermint drink or something. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. Ever clear. Ah, it, uh, oh, it just it reminds you of her, doesn't it? Ah. There's this shady, shadowy fellow in a, a wide brimmed hat steps up. I have what this man's habit. Oh, stand down, soldier. This is a mad drink. <laughs> oh. What do you say to me? I said you just ordered a man's drink. And from what I see, you're walking in a boy's boots. <laughs> the fellow sort of looks down at his boots, which are admittedly on the smaller side. And then, like, looking back up at Herodotus with gritted teeth, like, you're lucky, man. And Herodotus yeah. sort of stamps very, very quickly and goes, oh, take no offense, youngin. No. Be happy for your young age. Well, hey, dug it us all in the end. So, take good comfort in that which is your strength. <laughs> uh, we went right, right here in the spaceport. Oh, no, just be vapor. You be, you be vapor on the, in, on the ground, in the, mm. in the air. Well, soon enough we will all be vapor, my boy. I mean, if the laser church is correct. The Neon Messiah will be here in less than 1,400 years. But until then, we must get along. At They're which all? point, the, um, the, the bartender passes another of these horrendous drinks to this, um, this stranger who just captures it on the bar and sort of knocks back about, about half of it. But after, after just a couple oh, of mouthfuls, his eyes kind of widen and bulge <laughs> as he realizes just what he's doing to himself. <laughs> but he's going to try it, and he just tries to chug back the entire oh thing. Oh, my boy, that's very much a sipping drink. You might... <laughs> he you gets might about, about halfway when <laughs> he starts coughing and there's like a massive spit take. It's coming out his nose. His hat falls off. 
And Ron just sort of giggles a little too. Says, hey, 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 I saw that coming. Ah, boy, indeed. But then again, <laughs> take heart, young one. Who hasn't been young and foolish at some point in their life, eh? He says, and then sort of tip, he does the same, essentially. Hips back the drink, sees if he can chug it. <laughs> um, what do I roll? I mean, that's got to be uh, an endurance roll. All right. Uh, where's know. endurance? Did I call it endurance? I called it something like I don't know. Shield, energy, armor, speed, credit, strength, dexterity, durability. Durability, Last that's the one. Durability. durability. <laughs> All right. I should have just called All it right. Constitution like Dungeons and Dragons. You know, it makes it easier. Hey, fourteen. Okay, well you you are actually able to um to knock back this drink without <laughs> without, <laughs> without without coughing and spitting at least. It, you, you do feel like you might regurgitate it though. Still, still. <laughs> Rod just staggers a little and sort of grins wildly, feeling gingerly with his tooth and whether or not some teeth, uh, with his uh, with his tongue to see if any of the teeth have come loose. <laughs> that was a fucking knock to the brain. See, I told you, my lads, a drink for bad. Now, <laughs> what should one do to pass the time around there? Duel? <laughs> yeah, the fellas, like, coughing. Like coughing, sort of madly, there's tears streaming down his face as his eyes are all just like full of water. Like trying desperately to wipe them away. He doesn't want anyone to see, to see him and see his weakness. And he's just like... <laughs> oh, can I roll perception and see if I see it? Absolutely. <laughs> if you weren't so trashed, you would just 100% see it. But uh, I think there's a distinct chance that you might not. Oh, 17 though. Then again. No, you, you're seeing all this. He's like, he's still like leaning, sort of half bent over on the bar still like wiping his eyes and looking up at you <laughs> as you mentioned a jewel, which was kind of exactly like he'd, he'd come here to sort of like assert like his tough guy dominance and stuff. And, like, and now you knock back this drink and suggested a jewel. <laughs> he's now not entirely as sure that he would win that fight anymore. Listen here, bye bye. You can do worse thing in life than service. I just so happy to be for a do squire. <laughs> Always on the high. Always on oh, the yes. high. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You could do worse than go into my service. I'm a fair lord, and uh, as long as you stay true to me, you'll find that I'm a very reasonable blood lord. However, should you cross me, you will find that within this boyish exterior, Lacks of eating red hard of a vicious psychopath. <laughs> and I will not stand back from murder, mutilation, and irrevocable cruelty upon those who cross me. My week down. <laughs> his, his eyes are sort of widening more and more as his hand slowly putting the half consumed drink down on the bar. Um, meanwhile, Cleo would have got all this stuff on. What, what were you, you guys thinking you would do? Like, you're now, you're now safely in New Terra. You're still in the spaceport. Do you think they would clock where Herodotus might be? Are we in the, like, shopping, duty-free, open restaurant area? So you're not, you're, 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 you're not far away, but you haven't gone straight to the bar, yeah? Ah, uh, like, Cleo, look, some of those tentacle things. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they have the little entry. Okay, well, I'm still naked, pushing a cart of my stuff. I'm not going to dress up again, because I have been naked for a bit, and I... I'm loving it. Yeah, enjoying, I like it a lot. Enjoying the so you realize if you're a bear, people don't complain about it. Yeah, I'm going to stay like this, and just push my cart of, like, bombs and stuff <laughs> through the I, I, airport. I, actually, can <laughs> I use this opportunity? Bum. Cleo, uh, do you mind if I uh, try on your armor? Oh, come on, Dr. Z, get in there. Right. Get While in there. While we're walking along, I'm just, like, <laughs> make, taking make bits yourself. of Cleo's armor and putting it on myself and <laughs> trying to trying to feel what it feels like to be a war, a raging warlord of the Ursine uh, nation. <laughs> as, warlord it's much easier for hours. you to um, for you to dress up in it than it is for Cleo because you can just sort of like what? the honey boy into all the uh, <laughs> into all the crevices and just, uh, just looking just, good. Look at that. Wow. Oh, Cleo, how's it look? Yes, yeah, so I look powerful and strong. Oh, we gotta get you some outfits. Dude. Look at look at especially now that you look like this. Yes. You can be anything. Hey, Trevor, you can fit into anything. Trevor, duck. <laughs> Shoot something at Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you shooting? 
Um, I'm probably like a I'm little gun not dart. shooting. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was doing a quick a Trevor duck and then firing in Trevor's direction. He sort of looks around and sort of ducks. He's like, oh. Yes, yes, watch out. There's, a, there's an uh, new Ursus Major in town. And, uh, Ooh, snap. <laughs> yeah. I can't say I'm comfortable with the, the original one walking around like that. Well, stop staring, you pervert. <laughs> where do you even What's look? What's the matter? Well, What's I, the matter? I don't know. You're the one who's uncomfortable. I have no idea where to look to begin with. I'm gonna do like a really wild pose. Yes. <laughs> like my hands behind my head and I'm gonna like point my toe out and like kind of make like a, like a, just like a slivery shape with myself. Like, yeah, yeah, look at this. Trevor, what are you, what are you seeing over? You see anything you like? You see anything? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Go on, Trevor. Draw Trevor, like one Trevor of your is human girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pointedly looking in the other direction. Uh, where there's a there's a sort of a bistro bar. Suddenly, running out of the door comes a smaller, shady-looking fellow carrying a wide-brimmed cat in one hand, sobbing, and just <laughs> fleeing, fleeing out of the bar. Wow! Look. Does Cleo see that guy running out crying? Oh yeah, I mean he's he's um he's he's in this because you're yeah you're you're doing all this to Trevor, and Trevor's looking away from you, so you're both looking in that same direction. Doctor C. Yes, Cleo. See that? Yes, some type of wimp that's not wearing full mega armor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> only, only my John can drive someone that crazy. Yes. <laughs> you reckon that smells like Harry? Well, let me just engage. Uh, one second. I do a little uh, whiff of the air. <laughs> little uh, medical, <laughs> medical, scanning. medical scan of the scan. air. Is that a medical scan kit from Mental Rath? I, I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm just doing a little scan of the pheromones left in the air, trying to see if that's where Harry comes from. I don't actually need to do that, do I? Uh, I just need to play along. I mean, you're, 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 te you're telepathic. You're Sorry. telepathic. You can literally locate him at any point. Dr. Z is activating like some kind of stealth Google Glass looking shield out of the armor. Exactly. I'm on a massive and high <laughs> after wearing Cleo's armor. I'm like, Cleo, this is incredible. He's pressing, <laughs> I can do anything. Press buttons. In this. He's pressing buttons. I can scan beep, anything. Beep, 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 Cleo, I must say, now that I'm wearing your outfit, I do understand why you jumped down that hole. Surely no hole is <laughs> anything compared to this. No hole. Don't, don't. No hole can stand against the battle suit. This battle suit is ridiculous. Now look, let's go find let's go find Harry, and uh I want to know what he thinks of me and my glorious new stunt. I'll give it back afterwards, don't worry, Cleo. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. I think we're we're I'm gonna be pushing the cart. In the direction of the crying man. Yes. All right. Clan Zarg sort of filing along behind. They're all engaged in their own little conversations and worlds and things going on. All talking about like how they're gonna get the get the ship fixed up. They don't really have any credits and like maybe Herodotus didn't he like offer his eternal servitude or something? Is he going to maybe he'll pay to fix them? And <laughs> they think they Herodotus offered their offered, servitude. Offered eternal servitude. I love that. What? That, that is brilliant. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 that is no, what, fucking no, great. they said the word. No, that is great. No. That is great. No. I love that. Oh my <laughs> God. No. A mistake has been made. No. Somebody is confused <laughs> about <laughs> what somebody bitch. else said. I mean, I think that they're, they're, they're more confused about the terminology than the general gist of it. They do know that they sort of you know, like offered to help him out. But they think the it's a two-way streak, maybe, then they the one way this road. is a like relationship. A, pre a president serves the people sort of thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm. Well, yeah. It <laughs> yeah. well, it ain't. Well, it ain't. Well, it ain't. And that is why Cleo well, and Z ain't. ain't fucking around with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah. Why I'm they don't excited. sign anything that, that Herodotus just puts in front of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, we are about to experience an incredible clash of minds. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Waiter, we have a. We would like to. We would like to find a table for twenty-one of us plus one. Uh, I could push two booths together. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna push a booth. Push I'm three need booths my together own if booth. you could. We'd like a little bit of space. It's you know we've been on that bloody flight for so long. Oh, you know how it is. Sort of shaking his head like not a bit like it's um turns out on new terror it's actually very early in the morning right now and there's not many people drinking so if you're uh 
Or a little drink for them. Cleo, now's our chance to get Harry. Let's go set up on the table. And then uh, as you come in, you can see Herodotus, in fact, is propping up the bar. Yes, yes, Cleo. This is our opportunity to get him once again. Let's sit down at the table, get everyone ready, and then birthday drinks for Harry. <laughs> So all the um all the all the plan Zarg also like you know like boisterously clambering around into the booths, dragging tables along and the building you've got like an entire corner of the bar. The the, the bar bar and bistro. Um We are the bistro. Yeah, yeah but it may be the bar, we brought the bistro. <laughs> B E A S. Yeah. As as ah! as people start moving stuff around in the room, Harold just kinda of sees but he goes, you know, Oh, goodness. You remind me of Rent. I to have yeah, well. go before I oh, lost oh, my Oh, he's very, very <laughs> drunk. <laughs> dear, you mean dear he is friend, very ready to see you in your new look? New oh, look? Yes, why not? I, I, I'll get on the table. <laughs> then I saw Cleo, back me up. The good fight. I'm going to help that help him get up. Harry's going to want to see you in your new look as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should get on the table. Let's both get on the table. Hey, Trevor, Trevor, get on the table with us. Come on. Not every day that someone gets Trevor, a come on. Trevor's like, Trevor, okay. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna start picking Trevor up. Yes, yes. That's Trevor's a, like, yeah, be, being dragged by one hand by Cleo, but it was the other, like, he's sort of like trying to, you know, like put his order in with the waiter. All the um, plans are all just ordering a great big pints of some sort of ale. And Do you finally, think I can hold Trevor like a baby? You're up on the table. Yes. Yeah, you're definitely holding Trevor like a baby, Cleo. Have to be. <laughs> Waiter, cue birthday music. We don't have any birthday music. I'll just turn the bloody radio on then. Bloody hell, let's get on with it. What about the theme song from the 1997 X-Men cartoon? Yes, yes, that will do fine. <laughs> but not that song, because... <laughs> happy, happy, birthday happy, happy birthday to you. Happy happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's what popped into my head when you said birthday song, and I was like, that ain't right. Something's connected bad. <laughs> Cleo, you're going to have to follow my singing. Music cues. We look out over the... Uh, over right. the. come on, Trevor, come over on. Over the crowd. Uh, Trevor, Trevor tr stop trying Trevor, to get out. Stop trying to get out. You and Cleo, back I'll me up, a cappella. All right, all right. Hurrah, Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy you are but one man, you're still just a man, and you're still just a man, but we're a bear and a jelly, but we're a bear and a jelly, and yeah, you too, Trevor. Shut up. Trevor, come on. Get on with it. Sing the, Sing the bloody sing song, it, Trevor. Trevor. A bear a happy happy birthday, Herodotus. Herodotus. And I'll just throw a glass at him. <laughs> this is very jolly. But I'm going to raise Trevor above my head and shake him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> At this point, Herod, uh, Tre Trevor is just like cackling. He he's finally sort of seeing that this this is a, uh, yeah. You, you guys are just as rowdy as as uh, Clan Zarg, and they 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 do turn out to be quite a rowdy bunch, especially once the drinks start rolling. In. <laughs> okay, I like I this. It. I like this. Yes. I kind of like this. I'm gonna like flip Trevor in the air so that I'm holding on to the back of his shirt and pants, <laughs> and then I'm gonna airplane him across the table so he can drink. <laughs> Someone is sort of like rushing along underneath, like holding a pint glass to his lips, so he's drinking as you as you slide him along. This is exactly the kind of shit I want to be doing once I get out exactly. of quarantine. Exactly, this is us living through our quarantine haze. But in like an airport chilies. Fuck yeah, I'm going to a wasabi. <laughs> At 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> airport pubs are the, just the funniest shit. Like. Yeah, yeah. Naked. Yes, exactly. In like in like a bad Irish themed like family restaurant. Yeah. Come on, Herodotus, Herodotus notice us. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> well, surely the, the glass, the glass thrown at him. It smashes near him. Smashing yeah. on the ground at his feet. 
Now he sees, and uh, so immediately he grabs hold of the, the nearest waiter. Garçon! Garçon! Yes, sir. Prepare a feast. My boon companions and I have completed an odyssey of Homeric proportions. Homeric Homer, Homer, Homer was a pussy. Uh, we have <laughs> gone longer than he could even dream. We've traveled the stars, don't you know? We've done great battles in the borderlands, and we've returned with grand booty, like one of the finest of oh, yes. heroes. Shut are. up, man. I'm working here. <laughs> I want you to bring us the fine distribution of food your menu can offer. We would <laughs> your like your finest to... potato skins <laughs> we... and hot wings. Your hot <laughs> palms yes. and grossa. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, we would like two feathers two geese, uh, roasted pork, uh, we would also like uh, four quarts, there would be a one this uh, nacho, uh, nacho. Uh, good red wine and, and, and the same of, uh, of good uh, rosé. Uh, beyond that, we could take some... Uh, some Kool-Aid. Uh, some Kool-Aid, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> stuff, you know. Good for the body, good for the mind. <laughs> uh, as well as uh, anybody, anybody need anything from the kitchen? Perhaps <laughs> a so f- thirteen and a half frog legs. Uh, we, we, we are, we are have frog legs. Yes. We are, we are on the breakfast menu, sir. I, um, could I, you, could I perhaps I think- uh, Throw another Arrange glass. Throw another several. glass at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, as I think you'll find we make our own menu. You fulfill it. That is the base deal. Will there be an issue with this, sir? Well, uh, as Will as you are. Will there be an issue, sir? No, sir. As, as you are a very large party, I'm. <laughs> we 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 can bring out some of the other um, other 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 menu items. Uh, I I I will do my best. You will do, but you will not. There is no do my best. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. So like, like very sort of worried looking, sort of just rushing back to the kitchen and like, like shaking his head, holding his head in his hands, wondering what he's even going to say. <laughs> as as food as food does start approaching uh, later on, it's it's uh, it's going to be very far from anything that Rod has ordered. Hopefully, he's so drunk he won't notice. But, <laughs> um, happy birthday! I have survived another trip around our local star. <laughs> In the depths of arbitrary Earthwise. Time yeah, for some more rotation has come in. <laughs> and therefore it is my day of celebration. <laughs> Trevor, you tiny little airplane. And many more. <laughs> Herodotus, Herodotus. Yeah, yeah. They're like shoving it's like a, a a pint of pint of ale into your hands as the um there the, the, the Herod drummer cl- clapping you on the shoulder instead of bringing you into the fold. I could wish for nothing more than to spend my day of jubilee among (laughs) such excellent and admirable mercenaries as yourself. I don't know half of you have as well as I could uh, like, but then again, you're all all bastards and I want nothing to do with you. However, you are sworn to me in perpetuity. Cheers, and also, cheers, I like to cu- the cut of your collective jib. Therefore, oh, adventures await in our near or far future, and I hope the majority, indeed all of you, survive. Scowl. Excellent. Yes. Cheers. Ray's a very uh, powerful uh, <laughs> Yeah. Gestalt. Yep, yep. Prost. The, um... Poop. Poop uh, the, the, the beer does the beer sort of keeps flowing um the, the waiter eventually brings out very big sharing platters of, of curly fries and uh and curly wings. fries what the fuck dick come on oh curly fries is it bitch yes it is it. whoa it is it. i just got and uh, co- I got copious so quantities of, of of dipping sauces which oh, i is taking yes baby yes Breakfast, curly fry, breakfast, curly fry, breakfast, curly fry, breakfast, curly fry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start handing out bombs. He realizes it's not the food he ordered, but then he sees Cleo being super 
sort of uh, interested in it, so he's a little curious himself. He forgets <laughs> to be furious just now, but it might kick off That's again beautiful. if, like, if you if future uh, dishes are not off to up to snuff. His curiosity is is coming out. We're celebrating like, getting through the airport, yo. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm handing out bombs from my cart to everybody. Everybody gets we one. We've never celebrated defeating a big bad or anything like this, but <laughs> getting through customs, we're like, yes. <laughs> yes. <That's, laughs> I don't think we've ever partied this, hard. We've partied this hard. Out of all the times that we've almost died, all the big bads, all, big bads, all of the necromancers, none of it and time shit. flips. None of it is Imperial as big as this. None of it. It's fucking 11 a.m. outside. And we're outside, naked in a restaurant. And we're at the restaurant getting drunk and fucking happy to have landed. <laughs> I've dumped Trevor into the cart and I'm wheeling him around yeah. and everybody in the restaurant gets a bomb like, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I've got curly fries stuck in my hair. We're turning up. Turn up. Dr. Z is... Dressed as Cleo as well. Fuck yeah, I'm enjoying it too. I'm feeling powerful. Which is kind of sick. Like, we're loving it. The drones are buzzing around him playing music. I'm trying to do some Cleoisms. I'm like, if you you fall over, you can't fall again. Bah, yes. I'm Cleo. He's right, y'all. He's right. Look at me. Country wisdom. wisdom. Put on a boot twice. You don't gotta put it on once. (laughs) Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> Y'all better write that one down yes. now. You hear? The doctor is in. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> my clothes. <laughs> Country wisdom. I got it. <laughs> as as Trevor is sort of like wheeled past Herodotus, he's like, Harry, 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 you uh, you, you yes. said you have property here, yes? Uh, well. Just, well, we're all a little bit uh, short on cash, and uh, we do need to repair the uh, the ship, and uh, well. Okay, so, so sidebar, how much is like the contents of uh, like all the credits I got now? Because I got like a fucking what hundred million credits, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Okay, but that how was the group's that? money. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't know that. So it's 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 worth like um, it's quite a bit. Like it's um, like it's probably worth like sort of more like you know like five hundred thousand like dollars or something. Like it's uh, all right. Re- All right. Remembering from Very early well. episodes when we fixed the gray dragon, it only cost like two yeah. grand or something to like completely, oh. completely redo. Uh, the I, think gray it, dragon. I think it was it was more like four grand, wasn't it? Well, even then, it's still like nothing compared but, to a hundred yeah. grand. You know, like it was yeah, exactly. Very well, boys, gather round, gather round. Whatever's uh, about to happen is going to be so fucking I baller th- that it's going to. It's gonna destroy the airport. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. like ride yeah. on Cleo's shoulders, oh. still riding this yeah. high of being fucking Cleo. <laughs> so you you see, for the last sort of what four hours, Herodotus has been getting into a paranoid state of vengeance. Uh, sort what of <laughs> ideas? Because he is pissed as fuck. <laughs> like they, he had to ask for shit. Stuff was not proffered him fucking directly. Like, like he he had to take an active fucking part. Nobody, no, no, but nobody, no, no, nobody, fucking called him his grace. Nobody. <laughs> this is actual drunk him, talking right his, now, isn't it? You know, I'd love you, man. No. <laughs> but like, you know, just like sometimes I wish someone would call me your grace and like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just so difficult, exactly. you know. <laughs> Can somebody give me some I, cheese sticks? I just feel weird when you have to ask. There was a time when I could kill a man. I've, I've just been there for right. all of you, you know. But like when I'm at my okay, lowest. Okay, listen. This is fucking real. This is the talk where it's like I just don't want to have to ask you to buy me flowers. I want the flowers, but if I have to ask for them, then I don't it want them. The I want vibe, you, you know? to want to get them. Yeah. I want you I to want to do you guys, it. Okay, but. You but... Know, <laughs> but I feel like you could be more. <laughs> Like how more, I want. You could do more. Yeah. Like you how. Be more like how I want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't want to have to ask. And the fact that I just had to ask ruined it for me. And now I don't know what I want. I don't want it now anymore. Just, it has to be now something I'm just else. Angry. <laughs> and I want. I want to feel not this angry. Oh, this year has been something. too much. Yeah. Man, the role play has changed a lot. 
<laughs> I've uh, at, at this point I've I've just changed Herodotus's credits to uh, 102,000 because uh, hell uh, yeah. At, at the minute he is very much in possession of it. And I need to keep track of it somewhere because I feel like it's going to start getting fucking thrown around. Oh yeah. Any fucking minute. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Very well, boys. Gather round, gather round. I think it's about time. The old Saint Her- Herod- Herodotus over here. Divvy out the goods of our collective rage. Now, ready to on guard. Herodotus calls, kind of, kind of blithely hoping that the, the, they will kind of fall in or do some sort of impressive military maneuver. They all just sort of go, yeah, and like lift their glasses, <laughs> sloshing yeah. beer everywhere. I'm on Cleo's shoulders, so I click my uh, feet to attention, but it just kind of like semi chokes Cleo. <laughs> like, like, you know, like you know, like if you were to like a kid was riding on your shoulders and they click their legs together. Yeah, and they do that yeah. thing where they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, where they're like, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> it's just pure excitement. It's not actually trying to hurt Cleo, but it's it's annoying for Cleo. I I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Boys. And, Cleo, I want you all to meditate for a moment on the meaning of happiness. What makes you happy? Cleo's gonna launch off the table and get and jump into a vat of curly fries. (laughs) (laughs) And which means I go flying into a table. (laughs) I go into the sauce. But it's like like that embarrassing shit where you like you get like too riled up when you're fucked up in public yeah. and you like fall and everybody's and it makes a bunch of noise and everybody's like oh no the are you okay? we went immediately an turning they, they were they were cheering Herodotus now they turn and start cheering for Dr. Z and Cleo <laughs> 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 yeah. the exact same amount of enthusiasm this was the best find we could have ever fucking this is it so we, needed, we needed this we needed a hype squad I needed this in my fucking life right now <laughs> I feel like I'm vicariously at this yes, party right now exactly through Cleo. Like same. we are there. Yes. I'm filling myself with curly fries and, and drinks. <laughs> oh. And I have lots of money right now. Yeah. Like I have a briefcase of money, so I don't have to like think about like, hey, is it cool if I buy 30 vodkas tonight or am I gonna have to go to the fucking workhouse? Tomorrow I'm waking up in the same flat I've been in all year. So I am <laughs> playing up tonight. <laughs> Tonight we ride. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) That is essentially Herodotus' plan to get everyone so fucking wild that they trash. Every now and then I remember that we're in the middle of like, I'm picturing Heathrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard not (laughs) to picture Heathrow. And I'm just like, this is it right here. This is the like, this is the moment that my entire life has been like colliding towards is getting fucked up with a group of people who are excited in a Heathrow. (laughs) Yep. Okay, I so mean, Herodotus tries to, just, to kind of take over the laughter, like l- to laugh louder and more maniacally than everybody else, so that he out la- laughs them. <laughs> so you get him kind of going, I have a need, my friends. Hearken to me. Some of Clan Zark hark. Yeah, tell us, tell us, uh, Harry. What? what is most important in life? Uh, money, killing. Money, good <laughs> violence. Yes, I say it is honor, and by honor I mean vicarious recognition in public and associated celebration. <laughs> yes, and I He's will saying. tell you, my bosom buddies, that these callow Canterbury crucibles. Yes, it's a dark curse have treated me with a terrible inconsequence. And for that, we must make sure that that never happens again, right? Prior preparation prevents piss-poor performance, as they say. Therefore, <laughs> I, I, no want, you all, I want you all... I want you all... You should shut up them and I'll tell smash you. the place up. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> As punishment for giving him curly fries. <laughs> yeah. <instead of missing>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Rogers want to fucking, fucking roasted boar and shit. <laughs> <laughs> curly fries. 
not what you do. <laughs> do not do that. I have for each and every man of the company a stack of 100 credits. Yes. And I want you to take that money and go absolutely fucking bonkers in here. Is that understood? I want this place in flames in 40 minutes. That is when the coach <laughs> arrives to take us into town. Was that everybody's signal to ignite their bombs that I handed out when I wasn't thinking? Fuck. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Oh, they, they, these, um, these uh, clans are, they're all like mercenaries and assassins, by the way, like an entire clan of them. Fuck yeah. Uh, all had, handed 100 credits, which is, yeah, it's fine for a single job if, if it's an easy one. And they've already been given a bomb. Listen all, I wish for this celebration to forever and always be remembered as Herodotunalia. <laughs> Every year on this date, we gather at Heathrow Airport and we fuck Plus, it up. And go absolutely <laughs> fucking bonkers. Herodotunalia. We don't, even, we don't even get out of Heathrow Airport. We arrive, we stay for 24 <laughs> hours in the airport and then fly back. <laughs> I feel like this has probably happened All before right, so that's because nineteen hundred because they credits. have a visa that de- that yeah. makes it so that you can't do this. <laughs> yeah. Le- leaving leaving a cool one hundred, no, yeah, one hundred thousand one hundred. Yeah, one hundred thousand one hundred. That's an awkward number to say, isn't it? It is very awkward. Handy, handy. Yeah. And as his uh, as uh, Herodotus sends his uh, <laughs> his uh, his party stormtroops into the lobby. Heads over to uh, order transport into town. They don't even take take much time. Like they, they sort of they all down the drinks that they've currently got. A couple of them like immediately dive over the bar and start chasing staff around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just start like yeah, like turning turning beer taps on, just pouring it out into the uh, into the drip trays. And they're sort of like you know <laughs> running back into the kitchen. All the staff sort of immediately flee. Like he's got a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deep fry that. You can't deep fry. I'm getting fucking enough for this. Fry a bomb. <laughs> you sure can. Yeah, utter chaos takes off. Uh, <laughs> as um, as Herodotus, per- perfectly uh, versed in the the infrastructure of the um, of the planet, <laughs> is, is able to order uh, order transport. And as the bastards, I guess, like sort of, you know stroll out of what is already becoming a riot in the airport because it's <laughs> it's it's not only um it's not only you that are fed up of uh, what they've just been through <laughs> the f- a massive queue of aliens <laughs> do we see the flamingos from the other episode i mean you've got to don't you yeah. the flamingos um and the big I feel like they would turn up with us you can see that the, the flamingos, they're all posing in front of, they seem to have set fire to some sort of newspaper stand. Yeah. And they're, they're taking selfies in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. This is why you come to New Terra for your, for your stack, dude. <laughs> they're, they're crazy over here. Can we go be in those pictures? Yeah, yeah clear and see. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was We're imagining like, more of like a like a slow mo to cool music, just walking out of the airport as everything descends into chaos. But uh, you guys, just, you're not not I'm that you're, not, you're not that things. dignified, are you? You no, stroll no, no, halfway no, no. and they're like, "Oh, hang on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting involved in as many photos as possible. I'm wearing Cleo's armor. I'm not going to get another opportunity like this. I'm, <laughs> I'm naked and covered in sauce. Like this is it." <laughs> If this doesn't get on film, then I messed up. Yeah, I deleted it wrong. At the moment, um, here in the sort of the, the duty-free shopping and um, and restaurant sort of area, it is mostly travelers, and it's it's mostly non-local travelers who have really been given the runaround for the better portion of the day. So th- there's a lot of chaos, a lot of chaos, a lot of anger being taken out, and not a oh. whole lot of not a whole lot of military security <gasps> to oh, deal with it. Yay! We have really fucked it up. <laughs> You, you you photo bomb you photo bomb some photos with the flamingos encourage uh, some more carnage as like people are like kicking the shit out of some poor guard you see things are getting pulled down a lot of people are just sort of fleeing straight out the the front door as well which um does mean that you know there's sort of like a there's there's almost like a slipstream like because you guys are walking out casually all the people fleeing are sort of like clearing all the people milling about out of the way as they have to dive for cover and Trying to secure their 
their um, their luggage. But um, yeah, you're able to sort of strut your way through the carnage, contributing here and there. You hear a bomb go off just as you get outside, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a um, there's a a big, broad, lavish uh, speedster waiting for Herodotus just outside the uh, space. All right, <laughs> Herodrim, mount up! <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you can see like some of them, like they've clearly like stolen, stolen pint glasses and refilled them before they left the pub. <laughs> the road beers. <laughs> yeah, just charge in and like lumber into all the seats. It's a luxury vehicle, so there's actually like a little mini bar in there, but that's not going to last. I'm sorry, long did I just hear <laughs> somebody fire up a taser in real no, life? Evan just broke his hands in front of us and thinks it's okay. <laughs> okay. I thought it was a taser, and I was like, listen, Evan, I know we're getting the excited. What was that? Right? You just snapped your hand backwards, and yeah. now Dickie's trying to show us that he I, can also break now himself. I'm, no, I mean, now I, I, I'm I, I can't make, me I can't make that sort of noise. That sounded just like a taser. You should sample that, Dan, and keep it, because I'm probably going to have a taser in the future. Evan, stop trying to hurt yourself, dude. About the Come old... <laughs> No. no, my chiropractor said it was good for you to release the pressure in a joint by cracking. Yeah. No, I don't like it. It's not like good it. or bad. I don't like There's it. There's been done research. It makes absolutely no fucking difference. It just it's just, good. it's gross. But it feels it's gross. But, fe- but feeling Dan, good is important. Dan, you're gross. No, I can't. I, and, uh, I feel yeah. bad for you. Dan, have you never, have you never cracked anything? No, no I've never. Cr- Look, I'm a stand up gent, all right? I don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hire a little person cocaine. to walk on your back and do it without you gotta wear your earplugs while you do it because you're too good to do it yourself so you gotta hire a dog to do it and the dog walks up and down yeah. the dog walks up and down your back and it listens to the noise and it cries and exactly it- yeah what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> but anyway as as you all Get on, get on to this, and it's basically sort of like a flying limousine. Uh, let's call it what it is. This, uh, yeah, why this, not? This big why lavish not call it what it is. That you can see um, a whole bunch of energy shield already engaged riot police are storming into the spaceport now. <laughs> yeah. There's um, there's there's fighter ships all sort of like circling around. I shout out to the police. There's some some hacker in there called Z, instigator of the entire thing. <laughs> Thanks, civilian. <laughs> we'll be on the lookout. Yeah, yes, yes. Z. His name. That the, their name was Z. Yes, yes. Get them. Yeah, pure bastard. <laughs> yeah. And remember my name. <laughs> I am Erodotus Arthurian Mendelrod the Thought. What the? I'm not sure now. Is he telling that to the police? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yell over. I'm gonna yell over top of it and go, Carlton. Gordon. <laughs> Harry, Harry, is that you? We've got, oh, I never knew you were back this way. Oh, we've got to catch up. Hang on, I've, I've got to smash a few skulls, but I'll see you later, Harry. Hey, you be safe, Dennis. You be safe. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the driver. Remember, 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 throw the baton from the elbow, not the wrist. Don't want that carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh, never you fear. I learned from the best. <laughs> you did all, br- all bronze knuckle uh, Arthurian men, eh? <laughs> That's what they called me, you know, down in the old, old district. Yeah, it wasn't so much an officer. Huh? It was a sort of uh, punch for hire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the, uh, the the driver pulling away from the space was like, where to, Commodore? Yes, where are we going? Um, uh, I do believe uh, we shall find uh, lodging for the night. Uh, very finest establishment this city can offer. Now, I assume you are a purveyor of local specialities, are you not, my boy? Oh, of course. Of course, Commodore. Very good. Well, then, take us to the very best. And make sure to send any bill forward to the Department of Defense. They will see to it. No worries. Very good, Commodore. I know just the place. And, uh... And uh, best make room for all my friends. Yeah. The as you come out, all. out of the spaceport, you can see that um, New Terra, it's a, it's a bit like a densely gardened um, city that you've landed in. Ooh. And the planet itself as well has got a whole lot of uh, greenery, well-maintained, very, very square gardens. That seems to be like 
the majority of what you see. And then there's uh, there's yeah, there's, there's tall buildings here and there, uh, fine fine manors, manor estates, and so on. But uh, as you sort of zip off up the road, we're gonna end the episode. Wow. Woo. Wow. It's nice to end on a note of look at this beautiful pa- place with manicured lawns. You just fucked and flower up. Flower plants. Look at Elysium. And like beautiful, like incredible, shining yeah. water features. Be a shame if something molding. happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> Be a shame if these people all dumped out on look, that. Look, I have to say, lawn. Dickie, I'm sorry. I did not intend at the start of this episode to go crazy. And act out everything that I want to do in real life, but but then I did. Dims the brakes, and that's what <laughs> happened. <laughs> I feel like we just went collectively, yeah, to therapy. We did. I feel better for it. Actually, I feel like I can go to bed now knowing I feel, that I, I feel great. Yeah, I feel good. Oh, I've needed that. I, I mean, of course, you you are going to have to come back here to get your ship. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, that's future problems. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong. They can't prove anything. Yeah, yeah they can't prove anything because you know what? Uh, we blamed it on somebody else. Blamed it on the, the same juice. name as us. Yeah. yeah, well, it was the fault of the juice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. oh no! Oh no! Don't say that. <laughs> it was also partially the fault of <laughs> this fucking year. Exactly. Com. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I don't know if if the glove don't fit. It's um. It, 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 it's, a, it's a lame thing to say, but I really feel good after that gaming session. Holy. It was good. I feel pretty good. Feels good. We went from tabletop bureaucracy to tabletop fucking getting trashed in a fucking airport pub. I <laughs> so badly want to get drunk at a pub. Oh my God. The fact. I want to get I want ridiculous. To get r- ridiculously in wrecked with my friends. I don't even care if it's in public. Like, I just want to, like, hole up with my bros yeah. and, like, Get ripped and last someone just fucking. Like, <laughs> I don't even fuck, like just start a riot and start a riot and sort of zip out right before things get really violent. Exactly, <laughs> leaving yeah. yes. other, like, other poor innocent bystanders to get beat the fuck up by the cop. Dicky, you clearly read can my mind just, because that's what we did. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine how much fun it would be to like be in public where other people are <sighs> fucked up? And to I like, like that was, I don't know. I've, I've I've seen that scene before. Like you know, like you sort of get out just as the just as the um just as the cops get in. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a trope. Yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah. wasn't us? Oh, yeah. This is big time trope. But it's and, like, like, you're really <laughs> drunk and it's really obviously you have something to do with it, but you're just like yelling things at them. Yeah. I feel like it's starring Bill Murray. Yeah. Probably. It's definitely some some kind this of a... Uh, I can see it in my mind. Yeah. This is Bill Murray's regular life. Well, possibly like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Does, does that happen to them at one point? Hmm. No, because they walk right into the uh, police uh, conference. And you know, oh, yeah. we didn't go that into oh, the heart. Brass. We didn't go that into the heart of darkness, but we will. We maybe we will. Maybe it's soon to come. The year has still got well, a I few mean, weeks left. So. I mean, Harry is is literally just you know like charged a fucking like five star hotel room right now yeah. to the to the like, Department of Defense. Yeah. So he's he's definitely going to be called in next episode. Well, <laughs> well, what? Look, I can't believe maybe. that. There's Maybe. still men of honor at the department. Blame it on the yeah, juice. About... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is this a thing, Dan? Because the taste said it in the previous episode, and I love it. <laughs> what? And I keep. What, what was it? It's, it said, it's a song. Blame it on the juice. And I'm just. I'm, that, I'm I, here for it. Okay. Yeah, it's that Lizzo. Well, there we yeah. go. I don't know that song, but I'm here for it. Gotta blame it on the goose. Gotta blame it on the goose. Yeah. Blame it on the juice. There we go. Ain't my fault. I'm into it. I'm out here making news. I like that. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. I'm just saying, like, if I mean, you I, think I, that I, things got weird right now, wait till we are like a month into 2021 <laughs> and shit has not changed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's going right. to take more than a month. My mind is. Be I know, but I don't want to talk about it. Like, people are starting to talk about it in the news now where they're like, hey, don't freak out, but you might not get a vaccine till the end of 2021. And I'm over here like, don't make me throw up. <laughs> yeah, my mind is unraveling and I it's can't unraveling deal with that. fast. <laughs> <laughs> so like I only got through 2020 oh, like with this golden imagination dream of like in 2021 I can do everything can do and everything all. will be okay as, as though and like I, world events follow the calendar right? 
And exactly then obviously decades. they don't. Yeah. But this, this, that this was, was like, only 2020. It's not going to happen anymore. But that was yeah, the okay. dangerous dream that we fed ourselves yeah. accidentally Agreed. until it was way too late and we kept doing yep. it. And now we're there. And I'm like, oh, God, it's never going to go away. And we're going to have to live in water world. And and f- fuck, I, I should have got fucked up more. I didn't go no, to the bar enough. I know. I, I know. <laughs> and now, and now, also, and now, I said no to so many opportunities to, to, Wait, let, hang out and get let me know somewhere. if this has affected you. But um, like last night on a phone call with my family, I was like, "Why the fuck have we not got any good lighting for camera calls in this fucking house?" Because I had like the harsh yes! lighting on me. Yes! It looked like I was like translucent and purple, and my pimples were like fucking. This flaring is the up first in, in time the in my life that I've ever thought about buying a good webcam. I, I was like. I was like trying to come up with excuses for my parents. Like, uh, yeah, I look like shit because of the lighting. Well, no, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I look like shit because I've Where been inside that, this you, fucking hotel room sized apartment for a fucking like six year. Six months, god damn it. <laughs> no, anyways, look, last night I was like, I need to fix my lighting in this house because my, my, in New Zealand, my family are like, oh, How's lockdown going? While well, they're all sitting at cafes and enjoying themselves. Bloody bastards. Oh, yeah. Fuck, that must yeah. be hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, it must be so depressing for you. Fucking. Yeah, it is. Yeah, having parties and Thank going you. to shows and playing music and stuff. Like, fucking. Yeah, like, the world is practically back to normal there. Like, they've yeah. 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 contained it so freaking well. Like, yeah. yeah. Are they going to get vaccines? Probably have them already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or are they like they shipped out? Well, we're not gonna get. We fucked up because we ordered them, and then they just went. We don't have as many as you needed, so we're only gonna get enough for like five thousand people. And they just went too bad, well, and that's, that's it. Going to the Icelandic mafia, then, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, the fish barons yeah. will get those, <laughs> and then Con I'm Baron. like not gonna get the, the king of cod, <laughs> the kings of and cod. So that's that's where the fucking shots are gonna go. Yeah. And meanwhile, my ass is gonna be like coasting until twenty twenty five when they might go. Oh, maybe Utlendinger can get one, but probably not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'll just take one and throw it and be like, "Oh, go get it," and it'll just sink into the ocean. Are they that, are they that bad to you over there, dude? It's it is Seriously? that fucking bad. I was in a co- is it? I was is doing it? like a contest once, and they didn't even announce me by my name. They just announced us as Utlendinger. <laughs> that was it. It's Meanwhile, funny. everybody else got their fucking name announced, and they weren't even being shitty. They just thought that was okay. Well, so hey, it looks it, it's, so. It's, I don't really have high hopes for getting the vaccine. Since you up for a cool soon, story in twenty twenty six, you know you got a really cool, uh, you know, movie franchise coming. Yeah, what you. is what is that story? Hey guys, I'm the only fucking human in the world that doesn't have the vaccine that <laughs> <Yep>. wanted it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Because I live in paradise. <laughs> Psych. Must be so cool to live there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I mean, it's nowhere's, nowhere is fucking it up worse than here. Though, is there? I mean, the United States, obviously. I mean, the really? United States, yeah. United States. They're just... But the UK is really fucking fucked up. What's wrong days. there? Oh, it's, it's, it's just like, like the, there was a, another lockdown and, and the I infi- did the see that you guys rate, are getting another one. Yeah, the infection rate went up during the last lockdown. But like, then the government well. was like, well, don't worry. There's going to be a five day. Anything's on Christmas. You can do whatever you like for five what? days. And then we'll go back into lockdown. And then like just yesterday, they were like, oh, you know what? That thing we said, and you all bought really big turkeys. Ha ha ha. And stimulated the economy and all that. Well, uh, no, 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 they lied. No, no we're not going to do that. Actually, we're going back into an even bigger lockdown than before. Whoops. Oh. Christmas is cancelled. See you later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ciao for Bye. now. See ya. <laughs> Psych. And thanks thank you, to patrons. our patrons who keep us keep this show alive and kicking. And who are those people? Cheaper it's Cheaper by, by the, the Dungeon. dungeon. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. And Lucas Duff Duff of Ballad of the Seven Dice. Amazing. And Marcus Brackleman, our favorite. Thank you. And Fernando Garcia of Garcia 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 Station. Station. The only Garcia Station. Only one. Uh, Yep. (laughs) (laughs) I fell off there. (laughs)
<laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, and Noodle. Noodle. Whose secret name is Dan? Don't tell anyone. And Pass he lives on. somewhere on in a noodle on in Earth. a bowl. Where every every week we'll tell you a little bit more. Yeah, he is a citizen of Earth. Hmm. See if you can find him. Yes. Um, and the Abel Queen. Abel Queen. Um, check her out if you need maps. Maps for your TTRPG that you play because you listen to this, so you probably got one. You need maps. I hope maybe maybe you don't. If you don't got one, you can start now. Go look at them. Uh, They're still and, pretty. And Nicole. Nicole, who is our actual marketing coordinator. So and amazing. Thank you so much, and Nicole, for taking care of us yes. and being the best bastard that ever was find her on twitter and let her know that you appreciate her as much as we appreciate her thank you yeah and randy randy a fellow podcaster yes <laughs> get ready we about to tweet him out hard yes and a new patron we don't know your actual name but on patreon it's why bots yeah 999 and why bots <laughs> may be our our coolest a, youthful listener as they, well. They may be a synth. They may be a synth. We're not sure. Why bots? Hack this message and let us know. Zero one zero one zero one. Trevor. Trevor. Thank you so much, Trevor. The newest member of the bastard family, Trevor. Yes, we appreciate you. Trevor, the holder of the banana shapes and the reins of the planes. <laughs> Trevor the pilot. <laughs> Coming to a universe near you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Out. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Tune in next time for another Edge of Your Seat adventure in space with the Backwater Bastards. If you enjoy listening, but also have eyes, check out our Instagram, where we post drawings, illustrations, character art from our adventures. Backwater underscore bastards. Check out our...